morning, Father Jeff Henry here for Monday, 28 December, and I hope that you're having a good Christmas, this Christmas season. Uh, today, for 240 seconds, I'd like to talk with you, though, about a very sad reading today, The Slaughter of the Innocents. And we know the story of how the wise men, the Magi, were sent to Bethlehem to look for Jesus Christ, and uh, and, and, and to this king to come, uh, this king who is born. And, of course, Herod has evil devices. He wants to find out where the Messiah is so that he can kill him. The wise men are warned in a dream to go back another way and not return to Herod with the news of where they found the Savior. And it says here, when Herod realized that he'd been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity two years old and under in accordance with the time they had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what was said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing in loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. This passage of scripture uh, from Matthew quotes the prophet Jeremiah, and it says, of course, uh, cry is heard in, in Ramah, Rachel weeping for her children. But listen what comes following this passage in Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears, for your work shall be rewarded, says the Lord. There is hope for your children, and your children shall come back to their own country. In other words, this is what the Lord is saying. Jesus died for those children too. This world is a veil of tears, and we all undergo all these terrible things in, the, in our lives. Everybody dies. Everybody suffers. And yet they will come back. That's our hope. Every day is to be received as a gift from God and to be lived to moment by moment in joyfulness and gratefulness to the degree that we're able to. And then the promise is that we will come back because of what the Lord Jesus did. In a moment of time, the Son of God was born in Bethlehem and already the cross was raised as it were at Calvary. Already the cross was prepared for him, for that one moment in which that life which whose death was deferred at the age of two would be completed. The sacrifice would be made in God's time so that all may inherit eternal life and be comforted by the very voice of God and the hand of God that wipes away every tear. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we do thank you for the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ, who's given us hope and joy, who can take the most dire of circumstances and the most horrible experiences we go through and turn them into a moment and opportunity for hope. We do place our hope in you because of Jesus' death and resurrection, and we always look forward to every gift you have for us. And in the meantime, we always expect you to come for us when you're ready. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. I hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon.